morning and uh, welcome to digital classes hope so you all are in take uh, safe and taking due care of yourself and uh, enjoying these digital classes nowadays so dear students welcome to digital classes this is uh, chemistry class and today we are going to study about electrolytic cells and process of electrolysis so let's start before going to start let's start with the positive mindset dr apj abdul kalam the thought of the day is speed is calculated as miles per hour but life is calculated as miles per hour so increase your smile and get extra mileage in your life so it is very clear to you dear students the message that is given in this thought that is there can be thousands of reason to be sad to be upset to just uh, count our problems in our daily life but there are very few reasons to smile to enjoy the life so by keeping those small reasons very few re reason let's make our life very beautiful so dear students this is the pandemic situation everybody is getting now frustrated day by day as you can see from our daily lives now in the news also we are getting so bad new uh, so bad news from our surrounding so this is regarding our uh, the level of frustration that is increasing day by day so just forget these all things just enjoy the life this is the bad time very soon we will get a uh, better time also good time also because the days are never remain same okay so whenever you are meeting anyone whenever you are uh, meeting anyone or talking to anyone just talk with a small smile bring smile in your face and i know that will change the whole environment and aura of that surrounding okay so let's start with the smile as we have done electrochemical cell so today we will discuss about the electrolytic cell there are two different types of electrochemical cell one is galvanic cell or voltaic cell second is electrolytic cell or electrolysis so one type of cell voltaic and galvanic cell we discussed properly so let's discuss for the uh, comparison let's compare the two type of cell in galvanic and voltaic cell it convert chemical energy into electric energy whereas the electrolytic cell it convert electric energy into chemical energy electric into chemical they whereas they, they here chemical into electric okay so a uh, spontaneous reaction uh the galvanic cell is spontaneous reaction and electrolytic cell show non spontaneous reaction okay and uh, in galvanic cell that e standard electrode potential is positive always whereas in electrolytic it is negative okay then delta g that is gives free energy is negative here delta g is positive anode is negative anode electrode is negatively charged in electrolytic Uh, sorry in galvanic and cathode is positive charge whereas in uh, electrolytic the anode is positive charge and cathode is negative charge two electrodes are kept in separate weaker half cell whereas in electrolytic the both electrodes are kept in same weaker or cell which is uh, immersed in a electrolyte which is molten or as well as in aqueous form or can be in aqueous form a salt bridge is used because there are two different container whereas in electrolytic there is no use of salt bridge as both the electrode are in same container okay so hope so with this differentiation you little bit got clear idea about both type of cell so let's discuss voltaic cell as we discussed uh, this already decided already uh, studied about the voltaic cell in spontaneous oxidation reduction reaction electrons are transferred and energy is released electron transfer from one form to another and energy is released during that electron transfer that energy is converting into electric energy in which voltaic cell therefore we use a salt bridge usually a u shaped tube that contain a salt solution to keep the charged balanced cation move toward the cathode in this and anion move toward the anode there are uses of salt bridge next is once even one electron flow from anode to the cathode the charge in each beaker would not be balanced and the flow of electron would stop because of that uh, the salt bridge is there a typical cell looks like this the oxidation occur at the anode and the reduction occur at the cathode so these are the basic four uh, and the fifth sixth is also there the in the cell then electron leave the anode and flow through the wire to the cathode it means that electron move from anode to cathode in this special case as the electron leave the anode the uh, cation form dissolve in the solution in the anode compartment and on the other hand side as the electron reach to the cathode cation in the cathode are attracted to the now negatively cathode and the electron are taken by the cation and the neutral metal is deposited on the cathode so this is the basic function that uh, is happening in the electrochemical cell but the chemistry between electrode and electrolyte that is sh sharing about the cell potential so in standard cell potential as we have discussed uh, in previous video also about the cell potential and we have even 
calculated the numericals also that is related to this so basically the cell potential is the standard condition which can be found through this equation in which e naught cell is equal to e reduction minus e uh, sorry e cathode minus e anode always it is e right minus e left as we discussed uh, in that numericals so how to calculate the cell potential of this voltage cell in which e reduction is minus 0 0.76 volt and e cathode is 0 uh, plus 0 0.34 volt so when we will calculate so it is cathode minus anode so plus 0 0.34 volt minus minus 0 0.76 so minus minus plus and total we have 1.10 volt electrode potential in specially voltage cell okay so uh, as yesterday we discussed nernst equation also nernst equation is the equation that is used to calculate the emf value of any kind of cell so in the circuit the daniel cell closed then we note that the reaction and this is the particular reaction in which it, eclipse, it takes place and as time passes the concentration of zinc keep on increasing and while the concentration of copper keep on decreasing when this situation is coming once from one side the concentration is keeping on increasing and other side the concentration is keeping on decreasing at the same time voltage of the cell as read on the voltmeter keep on decreasing also after some time we shall not that note that there is no change in the concentration of copper and zinc that stage is called equilibrium stage and how to write in during that stage that equilibrium stage the nernst equation you know very well this is the equation of nernst equation okay and when uh, we are going to write it in equilibrium form equilibrium you studied in plus one class kc kc is equal to product of uh, c c d d upon a a hope so you want you remember that so in that way we will write so here that uh, ratio of oxidation and reduction we will write in the form of kc so kc is equal to or uh, oxidation and reduction kc is equal to o upon r oxidation and reduction so at the temperature 298 kelvin above equation can be written like this way e naught cell is equal to 0 0.059.2 volt log kc so kc is written and the value of kc that we need to calculate we can calculate 1.1 volt into 2 now we will if we will write 1.1 volt that is the value of daniel cell your voltic cell 1.1 volt when we will put the value of 1.1 volt here then we can find out the log kc and kc will be uh, 2 into 10 raised power 37 at 298 this is the value of kc and e naught cell is equal to 2.303 rt upon nf log kc in general we can write this way also so there is nothing if you will talk about nernst equation if you know already the about the nernst equation the from nernst equation you can easily write the Nernst equilibrium constant from Nernst equation because Nernst equation formula if you know then in place of Zn 2 positive upon copper 2 positive you have to write Kc okay this is you have to write the Kc then we will write the formula log Kc so thus the above equation gives a relationship between equilibrium constant of the reaction and standard potential of the cell in which that the reaction takes place thus equilibrium constant of the reaction difficulty in major otherwise can be calculated from the corresponding E0 value of the cell so uh, after this one more relation is there that is electrochemical cell and Gibbs energy now the relation of electrochemical cell with the Gibbs energy the electrical work done in one second is equal to the electrical potential multiplied by total charge pass actually Gibbs energy is what it is telling us about the total charge pass in the number of electron transferred okay so simply if we want to obtain maximum work from a galvanic cell then charge has to be passed reversibly and the reversible work done by the galvanic cell is equal to the decrease into the Gibbs energy and therefore if the EMF of the cell E or NF is the amount of charge passed and delta G is the Gibbs energy the relation become now delta G is equal to minus NF E naught cell so in place of E naught cell you can put the value so dear students uh, so just wait dear students okay so dear students uh, when you know delta g is equal to minus nf e naught cell we know that e naught cell is intensive property and delta g is extensive property of thermometer thus if we write the reaction of for the voltage delta g is minus 2 because n is 2 here as 2 electron is transferring from zinc and copper so it become minus 2 f e naught cell and the value uh, when we are going to uh, balance the equation the coefficient 2 2 2 so it means that 2 multiply by 2 it become minus 4 F E not cell okay just see carefully and uh, you can study this from your book also if the concentration of all the reacting species is unity then E cell is equal to E not cell and delta G is becoming this equation okay in place of unity 
in place of 1 from the measurement e not cell we can uh, now find out and the value in place of minus n f we can write then for the equilibrium delta g is equal to minus rt log k so maximum time the question is coming in one me one uh, marks that is the write the general equation relationship between gibbs free energy and electrochemical cell at that time you have to write this equation or if question will come write the relation between gibbs energy with the equilibrium constant then you have to write this equation okay so next is electrolytic cell now main point we are going that is electrolytic cell before electrolytic cell these two topic left equilibrium constant with the electrochemical cell and gibbs free energy with electrochemical cell so this we have finished so you have to uh, just learn the relationship between this so electrolytic cell and electrolysis is what in an electrolytic cell external source of voltage is used to bring about a chemical reaction we need some external voltage to bring the chemical reaction in this electrolytic cell one of the simplest electrolytic cell consists of two copper strip dipped in an aqueous solution of copper sulfate very simple that we will see in future slides if a dc voltage is applied to the two electrode then copper to positive ion discharge at the cathode and the following reaction takes place it means that here is the reaction of copper electrode in which copper is gaining two electron and forming copper rod copper metal is deposited on the cathode at the anode copper is converting into copper two positive one lining like at anode the copper is losing two electron and at cathode copper is gaining two electron thus copper is dissolved oxidized which copper is dissolved that is oxidized at anode and deposited it means that reduced at cathode this is opposite to the electrochemical voltaic cell this is the basis of industry process in which impure copper is converting to copper of high purity generally in this daily life in industrial field this is this process of electrolysis of copper is used to make the uh, make the pure high high purity of copper from the impure copper it is generally used to purity of copper the impure copper is made as anode uh, that dissolve on the passing of current and pure copper which is deposited at the cathode and sodium and magnesium metal are produced by electrolysis of their fused chloride and aluminium is produced by electrolysis of aluminium oxide in bauxite okay so that we will dis discuss all these things so uh, this was the introduction uh, summary of electrolysis what what we are going to study in future so first electrolytic cell it is a kind of electrochemical cell it is often used to decompose chemical compound in a process that is called electrolysis and the greek word of lysis means breakdown it means that by breaking of the chemicals we can produce uh, sorry by uh, with the help of electricity we can break down the chemicals and form the ions important example is electrolysis are the decomposition of water water decomposition h positive oh and negative ion hydrogen and oxygen and bauxite uh, decomposition into aluminum and other chemicals okay so these are the two basic uh, diagram of electrolysis you can understand from here so see here basic diagram of electrolytic cell here two rods are there anode and cathode which is immersed in same cell whereas in electrochemical we see we saw there were two container two half cell and one salt which was there in between which connect two half cell but here not such type of nothing is there so it is a general type of cell in which both the rod electrode are immersed in same electrolytes where electrolytes break down into ions and this side which is left hand side anode which is uh, carrying negative charge and this side which is cathode which is carrying positive charge so electrolytic tank is there in which molten or aqueous solution is there okay so by applying this battery electricity we can break down the electron uh, we can break down the chemicals into ions and these ions are deposited in the electrode due to this the cell is working okay so we can uh, understand it with the help of one more diagram that is electrolytic cell part in which cathode is negatively charged anode is positively charged now cathode is negatively charged in this case anode is positively charged where battery is uh, a source that providing electricity and uh, anode negatively charged electrons will carry this side and positive charge electrode will come this okay so what happen in electrolytic cell basically what is happening inside the electrolytic cell an electrolytic cell convert electric energy into chemical energy and uh, here the redox reaction is spontaneous direct and is uh, responsible for the production of electric energy the reaction at the anode is oxidation and that the cathode is reduction the electrons are supplying by the species of getting oxidized so this is the process of electrolysis of sodium chloride now we will discuss uh, basic example how to electrolysis occur in sodium chloride so you can see here sodium metal extracted by downs process okay this is the name of the process is downs process what is here happening here basically nacl is providing here through this and uh, with the help of this graphite anode and both side the ring shaped iron cathode these are the positively charged particles and it will break down this nacl into na positive and cl negative from where one side we are getting na and from other side we are getting cl 
okay so this cl2 and na we can see here with the help of this nacl is providing from here electrolysis this is the electrolyte inside which is having two graphite rod one graphite is anode second graphite is cathode anode will carry negatively charged positively charged sorry and cathode uh, side is there negatively charged in particular electrolytic cell okay and because of this because of this nacl we are providing h2o in which h2o is breaking down into h positive and oh negative ion and h is uh, providing here uh, in place of h2o we are using naoh so uh, when this will break down nacl to na will go, uh, get we will get from this side and cl is passing from in the form of gas from here okay so let's understand in proper way but before going to understand the cell what is the rule of electrolysis of solution there are two rules at the cathode either a metal first the cathode is negatively charged either a metal or a hydrogen form either we can use the metal or we can use the hydrogen form any gas the more reactive an element the more it like to be exist as ion so if a metal is more reactive than hydrogen its ions stay in solution it doesn't form a product and instead of hydrogen gas is produced but if the metal is less reactive than hydrogen the metal will form same way on the other hand side at anode what will happen it is positively charged we are using non metal here basically which is other than hydrogen because hydrogen we are using here if it is concentrated solution of halide like chlorine bromine iodine if we are using then the respective halogen will form if it is not halide then respectively sulfuric acid will form okay or oxide can form so here example is there this side it is anode which is used a non metal this side it is cathode which can be used metal or hydrogen it mean that cathode should be a metal or hydrogen anode rod should be a non metal okay so uh, electrolysis in concentrated sodium chloride now basically this is the process at cathode what is happening two hydrogen will break down uh, gain two electron and forming hydrogen gas whereas chlorine chlorine will break down and it is losing two electrons so those electron which chlorine is losing that hydrogen is gaining so basically hydrogen is less reactive than sodium and chlorine is more simple than oh in that case electrolytic cell is electrolysis the solution and sodium hydroxide is left in the bottom hydrogen is collected at the cathode side and chlorine is collected at the anode side okay because chlorine is losing two electron and hydrogen is gaining two electron okay so air cathode is negatively charged and anode is positively charged so in this way here you can see na positive will h negative and oh negative will give na positive so there is the chemistry of electrolysis of concentrated sodium chloride sodium chloride is basically known as barine solution it is made uh, to make it we need h2 cl2 and naoh at the anode where positive charge is there same thing is there which is which was previous Uh, slides the chlorine ion give up electron actually chlorine is giving electron you can see the chlorine gas bubble is here if we will a uh, little bit here you can see chlorine gas is bubbled here this is these are the bubble of chlorine gas here okay so hydrogen gas is this side bubble so sodium chloride is inside this solution and sodium chloride is breaking down into sodium chloride is breaking down into here we are talking about chlorine gas form in the form of bubble and here the this is uh, okay so uh, what we understood we understood that anode is positive charge here in plus particular electrolytic cell in which chlorine is giving electron and on the other hand side the sodium chloride is electrolyte sodium chloride is electrolyte here which will break down into na positive and cl negative in the presence of h2o H two is also breaking down into H positive and OH negative ion. Here the ion move to the electrode of opposite charge when hydrogen and chlorine bubble, and sodium ion and hydroxide ion and left hand left behind. So solution of sodium hydroxide is formed. What are the half reaction here? Uh, at cathode two chlorine is losing two electron and at anode sorry at anode two chlorine is losing two electron and at cathode hydrogen is gaining two electron. So at the cathode hydrogen ion except electron here which electron chlorine is losing that electron other side hydrogen electron while they were uh, using this electron it was decomposing NaOH into Na positive and OH negative ion okay so uh, same thing we will apply in the copper sulfate we are taking here copper as a electrode in the copper sulfate copper sulfate is solution now copper and electrode at the anode what is happening now positive charge anode dissolve giving copper ion into the solution these move to the cathode to form copper so copper move from anode to cathode now and the color of solution doesn't fade so here what will happen in reaction copper copper is losing losing two electron this copper rod is losing or you can say this copper rod is losing two electron uh, in the presence of this electrolyte 
एंड ऑन द अदर एंड साइड दिस कॉपर विच इज कैथोड कॉपर बोथ इज कॉपर रॉड दिस इज कैथोड कॉपर विच इज गेनिंग टू इलेक्ट्रॉन सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल फ्रॉम हेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन इज लूजिंग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ब्रेकिंग डाउन कॉपर सल्फेट ब्रेकिंग डाउन इन टू कॉपर टू पॉजिटिव एंड सल्फेट टू नेगेटिव आइन एंड दिस साइड द कॉपर रॉड इज डिपॉजिटिंग यू कैन सी इन द बॉटम द thickness and thinness of the two rod this method is on the basis of two very important uses of electrolysis that is refining copper and electroplating process when you refining copper the anode is impure copper while the cathode is pure copper and the copper of the anode dissolve and the build up a cathode while the impurity drop to the floor of the container okay so this is very simple uh, diagram you can see very uh, carefully you need to see it is same diagram which is here here it is in simple way the this diagram same we are showing in a detail way here depositing of copper metal uh, on electrode surface this side and here it is the losing of copper electrode so this side we are taking positive charge anode this side negatively charged cathode so electrons are transferring from this side to this side and it is depositing here so you can see copper to positive depositing and sulfate is losing with the help of uh, copper ion so uh, this positive ion are attracted to the negative electrode gain electrons so called reduction and this side it is losing electron so called oxidation okay so loss of electron and loss of gain uh, gain of electron is same so now in the last we will need to discuss about the application of electrolysis in commercial use electrolysis is uh, apply in the manufacturing of hydrogen chlorine and sodium hydroxide and bleaching solution it is used in refining of copper electroplating extracting reactive metals and aluminum anodizing also whereas industrial use it extract reactive metals such as aluminum sodium magnesium from the compound this is expensive due to the large amount of electric energy needed to extract the aluminum from the bauxite second electrolysis of brerine also as we have done it is a uh, uh, to use to electrolyze to break down the nacl into na positive and cl negative and produce chlorine ion for disinfectant and plastics and uh, it is used for hydrogen from ammonium fertilizer and margarine margarine also sodium hydroxide for soap and cleaning purpose so it mean that these things are manufacturing by electrolysis of brerine and third most important property or application is proper purifi purifying of copper the copper of wiring need to be more pure than to produce the blast furnace electrolysis used to convert impure copper into pure copper so this is all about for today hope so you you are understanding everything from these digital classes videos so you dear students it's my appeal watch this video two time three time for better understanding or for better visibility you can watch this video from youtube channel also so this is all about for today thank you have a nice day take care yourself thanks a lot thank you stay home stay safe